Guys, I'm so excited for Christmas! I have my hat on, I'm wearing red, I got my nails, my nails are all like the little Christmassy ones, they have little Christmas trees on them. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all having a fantastic December. I'm very excited because today we are going to be sitting down and chatting about all of the items that TikTok might be buying. Christmas edition. I mentioned recently in a Rachel's Life video that I came across Christmas TikTok, which has a whole slew of videos on decor and hacks and recipes and also wish lists. And so I thought, because I like to try a whole bunch of different things, that I would see if there are any like commonalities across all of these different wish lists, buy a whole bunch, test them all out and let you know what's actually worth buying and what is just then maybe there are some things that you want to keep on your wish list and maybe some of them you're like oh just kidding i'm just gonna look scratch that out or if it's too late for that you just don't open the box and then it's much easier to return welcome nobody enjoys returns not the returner or the returnee returnee the person taking the return doesn't want to process it the person who's returning the thing doesn't want to do it it's a big hassle no one wants to do it let's make everyone's life easier so let's just dive into these products and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already new videos here every single thursday and over on rachel's life on saturdays and let's i don't even know where to start there's just so many good products you know there's just i'm very excited <laughs> you know what Let's start random. We're gonna start with the shower stuff. It was actually really surprising and super interesting to me how many different wish lists had shower products on them. A lot of scrubs, exfoliants, moisturizers, dry oil mists, like a whole bunch of different things. And so I bought a bunch and I'm gonna tell you guys what my experience was. So we're gonna start with one that, again, this was probably the most common one that I saw on everyone's wish list. And that is the Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. I bought two different ones and it come in these like huge containers right here. This is a Shea, Shea Sugar Scrub. Try that again. Shea Sugar Scrub. Good, try it again. Shea Sugar Scrub. Did it. This one is coconut lime. The other one, this was probably the most popular one that I saw, is the tropical mango. They're a sugar scrub that is going to exfoliate your skin. It also has shea butter in it, so it's going to keep it nice and smooth. And so I've been testing them out, and I have to say, they are so nice. Among my favorites of all of the different shower products I've tested for this video and future videos, spoiler alert, because TikTok loves shower stuff. So this one right here is the tropical mango one. Like, it smells phenomenal. So good. It feels really nice. It's not too harsh on the skin and my skin feels like a butter after I use this product. It feels so good. Honestly, I like both of them. Um, I tend to skew more towards like lime scented products because I really like them. But like, I like both of these a lot. I had Chris smell all of the different products here as well. And he said that the Tropical Mango one was his absolute favorite out of all of them. It, it, it does. It smells really good. Like very sweet and sugary, but that nice, rich mangoiness. Mm. Honestly, 10 out of 10, totally worth it. I thought these were amazing. Another one that I saw a lot of people using in shower TikTok as well as on people's wish lists was the Maui Moisture Body Care. This is the Detoxifying and Volcanic Ash Body Wash. This is for super dry skin. It's a basic, just a body wash. It has more of like a muskiness to it, which is very different than the sugariness of the sugar scrubs. I found this to be a nice body wash. I wouldn't say it's like the most hydrating one I've ever used before. And I have really dry like elbows, knees, the tops of my, um, my ankles as well. Those all tend to be really, really dry spots for me. And and so they really hold on to the cell tanner a lot. I didn't find it to be so moisturizing that it made a significant difference in my skin before I applied any self tanner. Like I didn't notice that, you know, the self tanner didn't catch in those areas or something like that. It does have a lot of really good ingredients here. It has the aloe vera, the pure coconut water. It doesn't have sulfates or mineral oils or anything. Like it's a good body wash. Is it mind blowing? No, but it, like it does smell really good. Like I will continue to use this. I thought it was good. It just wasn't like, wow, out of this world. Amazing. Next up is a brand that was on everyone's wish lists. And this is in particular in the body care angle, though they do cover a whole variety of different categories. And that is Glossier. Now I've tested a lot of Glossier makeup before and I've done whole videos on that 
whole angle like their um their powder oh i should buy their powder again so i've used a ton of their makeup products i have products that i really love ones that aren't my favorites um but you can go and watch that for like the rundown on the makeup angle so i wanted to go into like the body care the body wash the dry oil mist the exfoliant bar like that kind of stuff oh except for one one makeup product that i wanted to revisit because it blew up on tiktok and i was like i don't remember I don't remember what I thought of this. The brand did send me all of these products, which is very nice of them to do. Um, some I really like, some not as much, but I'm gonna start with the brow flick because literally everyone is obsessed with this. I was like, what is the big deal? I need to know. I got the shade brown and I will say that there is a way in which using this product will work. And if you use it any other way, I found that it just doesn't show up at all. So the number one thing, you have to make sure your brows are clean. No moisturizers, no oils, like nothing can be in your brow hairs because otherwise this is not going to stick and adhere to the skin underneath. And that was like the biggest thing that I noticed because I would apply my skincare, I'd come over here, I'd do like my eye makeup, I'd go in with my brows and I'm like, this isn't like, it's not showing up. Or I would do my soap brow first and I apply that and then I would try and go in with this and like nothing. And then one day I forgot to put on all of my skincare and I just like came over here and was like doing my makeup and I was like, oh, oh, this is really nice and it's going on beautifully and it has this like gorgeous little brow flicks because the tip of the mark, it's like a felt tip marker is so fine. You can really get some precise brow like hairs in your brows. And that my friends was the game changer because as soon as I did that and let it dry and then went in with like my brow soaping and all of that stuff, it, it didn't budge. I put soap in my brows and it did not move. And then I suddenly understood why everyone is obsessed with it. It is so nice. The other products I've been playing around with are part of their Body Hero line. So they have like a dry oil mist, they have a cream, like a couple of different things, and then an exfoliant bar. Oh, I left that in the shower. Excuse me. I got it, I got it everyone, here we go. So I have been testing these out to see which one I actually like. So let's start with the one that I don't like which is exfoliant bar. Now I understand that this is an exfoliant bar. It is supposed to be gritty and it's supposed to feel rough so that when you're like applying it, it's going to, you know, exfoliate. But this one, because of the fact that it's like a hard, like a brick, it's, it basically, it felt like I was rubbing a brick on my skin. And so it was a little harsher than I wanted it to, especially in contrast to something like this. I, I didn't like it personally. It was very rough, it was very gritty. I wasn't getting any sort of a lather with it either. So again, it was just like sandpaper on my knees. Like, like no, I didn't, I didn't love that. <laughs> then I went on to the dry oil mist and a lot of different people have been testing this one. There's also the Vaseline one um, and people really like them. They feel nice and hydrating and you get that nice like glossiness to the skin, but it's a dry oil. So it's gonna dry really quickly and not feel very greasy for a long period of time. This one I like more than the cream for that nice like glowy skin kind of a vibe, though I would say only apply this when you're like in the shower, like be careful because it, like it is an oil. But I found that otherwise like you're, you're spraying an oil, right? So you're spraying it on yourself. It's gonna get all over the floor. So again, just be careful. But it's got a nice spray. It's a very like fragrance free kind of a scent to it. You know, like it smells like the ingredients. It doesn't have like a, a masked smell on top of it. And it's the same thing with the cream. Like the cream I was using on my hands and my elbows um, last week, I want to say, because I wanted to see if it was going to make a difference with the dry patches that I get with the soap tanner. Um, didn't notice a huge difference. I mean, it feels very nice, nice and nourishing, um, but there isn't any sort of a scent to it. And I personally really like a scented um, body moisturizer. That's, that's just me, not everyone does though. So maybe if you prefer to have like a perfume as your scent or you're, you want something more fragrance free, like you might really like these. I like the dry oil the best out of everything. Um, and also the, the brow flick, it's very nice. Those would be my picks though. Now let's go dive into the world of LED track lights. Okay, these are all over TikTok. They're LED strip lights and I see people hang them all over their rooms around windows in cool patterns and they create all these fun different light effects and they have a remote attached and you can kind of change the colors and I thought this would look so cool so we're gonna hang them out of my daughter's room and test them out. This is what one of the wheels looks like in terms of the lights but there's like a lot of a lot of pieces to this and a remote. 
can be excited about this. We <laughs> guess I have some, um, you know, reading and figuring out to do. All right, I started with some tape before I went up and like started actually it like sticking these anywhere. So I decided to try it around my daughter's bed kind of to start with and I continued on all the way around. And then I realized that I need to get to the outlet. And this is one cord, by the way, this is 16 feet, would go all the way around her day bed. Um, and then the other part of it just kind of, I just kind of put around the window, um, just kind of see what it would look like. Um, and, but it needs to connect with this black box in between. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get these lights, you need to be able to know where it's going to be plugged in and connected so that you can kind of continue it and you don't have this like really ugly electrical outlet situation. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with all like the different colors and everything. And then I'm going to try and like actually put it around the bottom of her bed. Let's close the curtains and see. All right. Room is dark. Ooh, lights. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. You kind of need to be able to see it. It doesn't really work with my curtains. But if you don't have curtains, ooh, cool lights. It actually looks kind of cool with like the texture of the wallpaper, but anyway. So right now it's on like a all over color mode, but you could do like blue lights. You could do, I don't know what this says. I can't see in the dark. This color, this color, this color. Let's do auto. Oh, oh, this is jarring. Pink. Purple, blue, orange. Oh, that's aggressive. <laughs> like my like, the little koala is just having a good dance party over here. Okay, string it up. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, she is going to freak out. This looks so awesome. The only thing I will note is that if I point it over here, it doesn't change at all. No range on this thing. I have to point it like directly where the little sensor is. Okay, let's see what this looks like in natural daylight and see if it still looks like presentable, you know? Okay, honestly, it's not super noticeable, like except in the corner, because I haven't like tape taped it, but it won't go around like round edges, you know, when you need to like stick it down, that will be an issue. It won't like line up perfectly. Actually, you know where this will look really cool? Hang on, I have an idea. Don't mind me just leveling up my <laughs> Cooking video. Can you imagine I just show up in the background and just don't explain any of this at all? Just keep chatting. <laughs> like, right, this is like a whole look I've been missing in all my videos. This, this needs to happen. Now I wanna dive into the world of small businesses on Etsy. And there were some really, really creative and incredible businesses. I was like stalking Etsy. For like hours. I want to open up these really cute little candles I got from a shop on Etsy called Lolita's. They're so cute guys. Oh my gosh, you have to see. All right, so I got three different ones. I haven't opened them yet, so I want to show you guys the camera. Uh, they came in a little cute star tissue wrapping. I love it. I want to reuse that. Isn't that weird? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. These are the three that I got. They come in these cute little tins. And so we got very vanilla lime coconut palm and mango badness. So let's smell them. Okay, this is the lime one. Mmm. What's the other scent? <laughs> I forgot already. Okay. Oh, coconut. That's what it is. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm very excited. These are 100% soy wax candles. You can choose a uh, cotton wick or a wood wick. So I got one with a wood wick and then two with cotton. Um, but the next one is the mango. Mango madness. Oh, wow. That is mango-y. What is that other? That's what madness smells like. Chris, Christopher. Okay, then we have the very vanilla. And this one has the little wood. It's a little wood wick in there. How cute is that? Okay. Whoa. Very, that is very vanilla-y. Okay, okay. Christopher, do you want to smell these and tell me which one your favorite is? Vanilla is nice. What do you think? Do you see the wood? Yeah, yeah. It's like a little wood wick thing. Yeah, that would be cool. Can you tell what's in that one? Citrus. Yeah. It's loin. It's got coconut in it. Do you smell coconut? That wasn't as strong for me. No, you don't have a great sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh wait, can you tell can what I that smell? is? <laughs> Christopher. It actually does smell a little medicinal. So which one's your favorite? The vanilla one I, I thought was nice. Yeah, 
Yeah. It smells good. It smells good, right? Mm. Okay. So I think the lime and coconut and the vanilla one, these two are my favorites. So I'm gonna burn one downstairs and one upstairs and just see what they smell like when they're burning. Cause sometimes that's a little bit different. So the vanilla one, it's right there, it's behind me. It does have a nice like sound to it with the wood wick, which I kind of like. It gives like a very like crackling fireplace kind of feel. Like I'll put it, I had it on my phone. You can listen to it for a second. Right? Like it sounds so nice. I would say out of all the ones that I purchased, I think I liked the vanilla the best, though it is a very straight up vanilla. There weren't any other like elements to the scent. So if you like a very like traditional vanilla, then you'll probably really like that one. And then the lime coconut one is going downstairs, smelled it. It smells more like lime than it does of coconut. So if that's a preference for you, then that might be a nice option. But she has a, a ton of really cute candles and she came out with, it looks like a, like a bunch of like more Christmassy scents and like wintry ones, which are really fun. So anyway, you can go and check them out. And then the other brand creates these like really pretty macrame keychains, which looked absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, yes need to update my keys. I don't go anywhere, but yes, please need that. Um, I have not received it yet. Hopefully I will before this video goes up. My keychains just came in. Look at them. Look how cute they are. It's all blurry. You can't see. There we go. Now you can see them. They are macrame keychains and the company is called Paws and Tots and she makes like a whole bunch of different um, macrame items. I chose these two ones so gorgeous i'm so excited to put these on my car keys and they're so pretty and it also came with this this is a macrame car freshener so i guess you can add some essential oils to it i didn't order it but it must have been like a like a gift with purchase or something very pretty i don't know if you guys can see it but it has this little bit of gold threading in it which is really beautiful so i'm gonna try and put some a little bit of essential oils on it and pop it in the car and see what that is like but um very cute such a beautiful product i am very excited would recommend absolutely purchasing from them if you are interested i will link their store um down below but really cute. Now I want to get into journaling and specifically the pens that are associated with journaling. And so I found these ones online that were like a set of really colorful ones, felt tip, really, really highly rated. And so I thought I would test them out in my notebook and see what they kind of look like. I really liked the colors and they were really soft and like soft isn't the right word, but like they were gliding very nicely onto the page, really easy to write with. I kind of compared it to one of my favorite pens, which is the Syrah, Sarasa, I believe, pens, which are awesome, really great quality. I have them in my Amazon storefront, in case you want to check them out, They're really good. These ones are also really nice. I noticed that you can see them through the paper, but you can also see my pen, and like that's not a deal breaker for me. It's not so much through the paper that it's like, oh, I'm gonna like tear a hole through. You know, you can see here my valiant attempt at decorating the D in December. I am an artist. I'm very crafty, very good at journaling, but I thought the colors were really fun and I think that the pen set would be a really fun gift for someone that really enjoys writing notes or has to write a lot of notes and you want to bring the joy to the process. That might be super fun or getting them like a little cute journal and a bunch of these pens as a way of like starting off if they're interested in bullet journaling or anything like that. That would be a really fun gift. A cute little like coffee mug. I'm getting ahead of myself. But I think that would be a really fun gift and honestly the pens are really great. Now what I'm about to show you is the number one product that I saw on everyone's wish list, which is this guy. It's called a skylight. There's a green one, there's also a blue one. I got the blue one and it's supposed to create the illusion of the night sky on the ceiling. It's a projector and everyone is obsessed with it and I thought my kids would love this. So I'm gonna set it up in their room and just see what it looks like and then I'm gonna hide it away and give it to them for Christmas. Here we go. Let's close all the curtains and turn this thing on. All right, in the dark room. Let's turn it on. Ooh, that's so cool. Now I will say it looks way cooler through my camera than it does in real life. I'm gonna be real honest with you. For some reason it's uh, like catching all these like purple shades and stuff. It does move, which is kind of peaceful looking, which is neat. It has tons of little like dots basically that you can see. See how it's moving? Oh yeah, okay, so it has a brightness setting. 
oh or just a dot setting <laughs> like it's it looks like dots like that does not look like stars okay so this is what it looks like without any of the dots on it I'd say it looks more like water than like sky and it's very rigid in the where all the dots are where all the light dots are which makes it look look less sporadic and you know star like I think I like it better without the dots but it doesn't look like sky it looks like water it's still pretty cool but like not as hyped up as I thought okay Moving right along. I found a lot of people had loungewear listed in their videos. So um, I saw Savage Fenty, I saw Skims, I saw Nike, just like a ton of different brands, but those ones were the most popular ones that I saw. And at the time of ordering this, all of the Savage Fenty in my size in loungewear had sold out, but I am trying to get my hands on that for like another video. Cause again, it's very, very popular, but I did manage to order some of the new cozy line from Skims. And so I purchased a couple of things. They should be arriving soon. Haven't arrived yet, but I'm hoping that this is just the introduction to when Rachel opens the package and can try them all on in the future. Ha ha, future Rachel here, filming another video late into the night. But I have here my Skims stuff that did actually arrive. And it is very comfortable. I bought three different pieces, which I put on all at once. And they are all from the Cozy collection that she launched that has a variety of different elements in there from joggers to long wide leg pants to just knit, um, I think bra tops and tank tops, like a whole bunch of different stuff, all in this really nice, soft, fuzzy material and arranged different colors. So I got the blush tone as well as the white for the tank top and um, just kind of wanted to see how they wore and how comfortable they are and would I wear them again, would I buy from them again, all that stuff. So first of all, I wanna talk about the material because it is very, very soft, very comfortable. Um, I personally like it. I will say though, downside, it is, <laughs> a bear to maintain and take care of. Like you have to hand wash it and then lay it out to dry flat on like a bed of gold. It's just, it's one of those types of materials. I knew this going into it. I knew that this would be a thing, but I really wanted to try it. And I was literally buying it on the day that it launched. And I just sort of like just dove in. This is the texture up close, just so you guys can see. It gets really nice good quality. In terms of fit, I want to start with the pants. Uh, uh, for, first of all, for context, I am five foot 10. I am very um, leg centric in terms of body dimension. So the fit of these pants look a little strange on me. They are long enough though. If that's like a thing for you, like they do go all the way down. One thing I don't like, which is just kind of an annoying thing is the side panel things here. I thought were pockets and, and they're not. And I keep reaching to put my hands in them and they're not there. This is the piece of fabric here. Again, it's like a nice illusion piece, which I appreciate, but I kind of wish it was pockets too. They are very high-waisted. They are nice and baggy and loose and stretchy and comfy and would be very nice lounge pants if you prefer a more high-waisted kind of an option. I love the, how long the sleeves are. P.S. That's like a big win for me. Would I buy from them again? Like I wouldn't be against it. The skim stuff tends to be more on the expensive side. So I wouldn't go out of my way all the time to buy from them. I don't know. Chris, what do you, what do you think of this? I think it's nice. Is it comfy? It's very comfy. I just, I don't know how I feel about like the, this isn't like pockets. Oh, there should be pockets there. Uh, there yeah. should be pockets. Yeah, that's a, Oversight. I like I get it because the material it's like a stretchy lounge material and it would look weird to have like this giant like cutout it's like a pocket but it just makes them unusable <laughs> no pockets I will not one of them there are pockets here you're supposed to like wear it as a set so like the pockets are here I don't you know would this you even your phone in there. can I even no that falls out that's gonna fall out that's a hazard right there this is just these are just vanity pockets but like it's cozy I would wear again. All right, now on to this water bottle that I've seen everyone carrying. It's by the brand Simple Modern, and it's supposed to keep your drink super, super cold. It comes in a ton of different colors, and everyone has been obsessed with it on TikTok. Oh, look at that, a match. Let's go give this a wash and put some ice in it and just see how long it stays cold. 
Next morning, question mark. People have been saying you only need to put like a couple of ice cubes in it and it keeps it cold and the ice stays put like overnight. Uh, no, the ice melted, but the water was still very cold in the morning. It is really pretty. I do see the appeal of it. Um, I wouldn't say it's like any better than any other one that's out there though. And then I got a couple of things from Nike because I live in loungewear. So I'll go grab those, give them a try on. All right. Ta-da. Oh wait. <laughs> Hello. I had another pair of sweatpants, but they didn't fit me. So let's start with the hoodie. This is like a really awkward angle. Oh my God. There you go. Is that better? Yes, it is. So the hoodie I really like, it has a little gold metallic, which I've never seen that before. So that was really cool. And I really like the color and it's very comfortable. Period. The end. And then the pants, I was trying to be a little different and not buy gray sweatpants again. I already have three. I felt like I needed to branch out. Now I have to adjust my camera again. Okay, can you see it this time? I think you can see it. Hooray. So this is what the pants look like. They have this really aggressive zipper, which I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's like an extra, like an extra pocket for, for change. I don't know, I don't run. Is that like a common thing that you need? Like a, like a pocket for change? I don't even think like, would this even fit my phone? It, it fits my phone. It's not a change. It's not for change. It's for, for your phone. Okay, I, I rescind my comment. <laughs> Clearly there's purpose to this. Also just wanted to let you know, I got my new phone back. <laughs> Thank you everyone for all of your comments regarding my sticky note hack on my last video. I really appreciate you. <laughs> anyway, pants. I like the color. I don't know how I feel about them yet. But I do like the color. They're a little on the short side for me, but I feel like with like longer socks, like the normal ribbed white ones, I feel like that will look a little better. You know, trying something a little different than my Costco socks, I know. I think I like them. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. Should I keep them or should I return them? Do you guys have any of these products on your wish list, or is there any of these items that you have given to someone else this year? Let me know. Or if there's any other items that you're like really excited about, leave me a comment. Let me know. And in case you missed it, I did do like an Amazon must-haves of like a slew of different products around my house that I absolutely love and I would highly recommend for gifts for people. So you can go and check out that video. I will link it here for you guys in case you are interested. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.